So I like hairy stuff, I like fairy stuff or whatever, and I like uh so sort of fairy, I like I don't know if it comes from sort of like and stroke and like hair or like and stroke and uh clothes or like blankets or something like that, which basically have sort of hairiness, sort of like hairy protuberances on them. So I've over the past, like, a uh, couple of years or whatever, I've sort of quite liked hairy stuff. I've been, I've been, came quite like, yeah, I've made lots of videos about hair and stuff like that, so. So I've done like different projects, but which has included like videos with like art in and stuff like that. So I did a project where I did a story and art about fictional beings that lived amongst the real tiny hair, like sort of protuberances on gecko's toes. So as you can see, one of these videos uh, for the projects was about an hour and 20 minutes. And so uh, in like 2021, I think I became like very interested in like the hairs on sort of hair, like protuberances on geckos' toes that allow them to stick to surfaces, and like became very interested in like that how they adhere and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, like I did. Uh, I think every day. I would search like Gecko on Google Scholar and see the uh, the newest research papers out, and I would look at like the ones on their toes, and uh, well, like ones on their like hair, like protuberances, or like uh, engineering ones where they sort of have like stuff inspired by their geckos. Uh, like toes, so they could make artificial adhesives inspired by the toes, and so that was quite a big part. And yeah, and then I, I, they added more and stuff like that, so you can see some of them like that's nine minutes. Uh, that video, uh. At six minutes and stuff like that. So there's, I did quite a lot. On, and then I saw, I was a bit interested in like other protuberances on geckos, like, uh, like smaller ones, which weren't necessarily on their feet, they were like on like other regions of them, uh, and stuff like that. I then did an hour's worth of videos about geckos evolving mustaches and goatees. So yeah, so uh, was like a because they evolved them from like real protuberance in the in the fictional story. They evolved them from real protuberances that uh, that can actually be on the heads and geckos. So like, yeah. So, so then, yeah, the, so then I did like, uh, like the biology of it, which was about half an hour, and then there was like extras in that video and stuff, um, and then I did some more ones. So yeah, so it was trying to make it sort of attain like a ridiculous idea. It's probably not, like if it happened in mammals, it probably wouldn't be that ridiculous. Um, but take like a ridiculous idea and try and make it as plausible as possible. Yes. So I, I tried to like be more general in the videos I make, like not do it so specific, so, uh, I did videos about like like fairy things and like gen 
were like fairy animals or like fairy plants, that sort of thing in general. So it was still sort of like biology, uh, mostly biology. Uh, yeah. So, and then I did like for my pet rocks project, there was some, um, like I started off doing about like hairy pet rocks or, or like the hair to do with pet rocks. Uh, but that turned into uh, the pet rocks project, which wasn't all about the hair on pet rocks, it was about pet rocks in general. So we'll go back to, and then I've been doing the I sort of thought like I, I'd already done maybe I thought I'd already done lots of videos on well first I, I did the hairy pipe cleaner enclosure so like a terrarium um, and then I did crossover with other videos but then I, I thought uh, I thought I'd already done like lots of videos on and on my hair stuff, so I, I think I thought there was, didn't really see much of a reason to do it, but then I think I've ended up becoming doing more videos on hair, but like a lot more general. So, done ones on like fashion or like food, or like pipe cleaner fashion or pipe cleaner food, then even ones on like pipe cleaner sport. So, I've sort of try to become more generalized with my content. So yeah, so does this all come from the fact that I like stroke and I like, hair or the hair like protuberances on dressing gowns or like blankets and stuff like that? And Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.